So a few weeks ago I reviewed this model here from Eris. This is a micro drone, two and a half inch propellers. It's sort of their Cine Whoop entry with a Cadex Turtle V2 as you see there and the little pod. So if you want to go see that video, I'll put a card in the corner. Also we'll make the video down in the description if you want to check it out. Um, so this is going to be kind of a drone lemonade video, also a sort of troubleshooting type of video. So in that video, when I reviewed this and uh, you can go see it and see what the problem was. There was a lot of video noise coming from the FPV system and not exactly sure where that was coming from. That's kind of the point of this video. I'm going to try and figure out and do some troubleshooting and find out what was the source of that video. It could be that the turtle camera is defective. It could be something is wrong with the wiring when they, they actually wired this up inside. I haven't taken it apart since that video so I have no idea. I have to do some investigative work here. Um, you know, this does have a capacitor, I believe. Yeah, there's a small capacitor there. I'm not sure what size it is. So I'm not sure why there was so much electrical noise. Um, it uh, was also doing some ghosting in the OSD where it would uh, it would show up when there's no throttle, and then when you throttle up, it would disappear. So a lot of I think there's some sort of electrical issue or something in the way they built this. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to take it apart and I'm going to take a look at all the wiring and see where the potential problems might be. This just might be a, a, either a bad design or it might be using some bad ESCs or it might be a bad turtle camera. I'm not 100% sure. So I'm going to try and find that out and hopefully you know, this will help you guys out if you happen to have this model or if you have similar issues with your builds or some other bind and fly that comes out of the box with an issue like this, then yeah, hopefully this will be helpful. Um, probably not going to rebuild it like this. I might use the ducks again. I'm actually going to convert this to this frame here. This is the X hover B roll. I've actually built this before. I took all the parts out, put into something else. So, so I have the leftover frame here. But this, uh, these motors and everything, and all these parts should fit this frame fine. And then uh, with the ducks here, like so, which will fit. It looks like yeah, because it'll take three inch props. So this, these ducks will fit no problem. It'll kind of look like a, a Cine Whoop sort of, and Cadex turtle based on two and a half inch props. So we'll see how this goes. We'll go ahead and start taking it apart. Okay, so I've mostly taken it apart where you can see the wiring. This here is the uh, video transmitter on my right and the Cadex turtle on the left here. And you can see the video transmitter is powered off of battery power. This is the battery lead here. You got your capacitor, which by the way is uh, I think too small. It's 25 volts, 330 microfarad. It could be bigger. Uh, so you have a direct um, battery voltage here. So you can see goes to the video transmitter and then you have your video in video out that goes to the flight controller for the OSD and the video transmitter here is powering the Cadex turtle I think that's probably 5 volts so I'm thinking that either the capacitor is too small and it needs a bigger one or this video transmitter is just too noisy or it has no filtering whatsoever so any of the noise that comes through here is going straight through the video transmitter and straight to the power um, of the camera as well. That's why there's noise everywhere. That's what I'm thinking now. A couple more things here is interesting is that they're using a fly color uh, stack, so four in one ESC and flight controller. So um, not sure which one this is. I think I've, I might have already reviewed this one already. But what they do have is they have this one long M2 screw that goes through the whole stack. It's steel, and then they have these O-rings to hold everything together. But at the top of the screw is this small nylon nut that holds everything together. So pretty sure that in a hard crash, this is the first thing that's going to break, and then your whole stack is going to explode. So yeah, probably a good thing that uh, this uh, I didn't actually get to fly too much because I'm pretty sure once I crashed it, it would have exploded. 
So what I'm going to do is let's take the rest of it apart here. I'm probably going to desolder the motors. The motor wires are too short for the other frame. Probably have to lengthen them or I might use some different motors. And then I'm going to probably rewire this and get power for the camera, not from the video transmitter, and see if that makes a difference. And um, if that doesn't help, then I'm going to uh, swap out the capacitor. So hope we'll see what that if that makes any difference or not. Okay, so I made a pretty simple change. I rewired the turtle to power off the flight controller right there, you can see. That's uh, the 5 volt on ground off the flight controller. And uh, you can see those wires off the video transmitter are now just floating around. I'm going to pull those off those pins later. But I think uh, it's actually is going to work. I just tested it and there's less noise than before and the OSD is not disappearing like it did before. So let me just show you. I have it all turned on. It's actually recording. I wanted to make sure that um, it has enough power from the flight controller to at least uh, do the recording and that, that seems to be fine. So this flight controller just seems to have a, a BEC that can provide enough current for the turtle so uh, they didn't need to wire it to the video transmitter. And I got it all powered up. And just watch the OSD here, it's not going to disappear like it did on when it was wired up the other way. I'll go ahead and arm it. There's still noise there as you can see. But it's uh, way better than before and the OSD stays on there. As soon as I armed before it would just disappear. So I think that was the problem. I think the... I'm thinking that the... Uh, BEC, the voltage regulator on the video transmitter wasn't able to handle the current uh, for the or the current output for the uh, Caddx turtle camera. So I'm thinking that's where the problem was. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to then transfer all this over to the other frame as it is here and hopefully it'll fly. We'll see how it goes. Okay, so I moved everything over to the new frame here as you can see and I'm using all the same parts with the exception of the motors, I just didn't feel like uh, extending the motor wires. It's just going to be needed to, uh, they're too short. Uh, I need to do that for this one here. And because of the KV difference, this is, I think it was originally a 1106 4000 KV motor. So I was running this on 4S before. And this here is a uh, one of these new T motors, F15s, I think. Uh, yeah. KV 6000, so this is um, 1106 6000 KV. So I'm going from 4S to a, a 3S setup on uh, this 2.5 inch prop. I'm still using the same prop guards here. And yeah, that was pretty much a straightforward uh, swap over. I'm using all the same parts except for the motors and just using the uh, dual stack system here on this particular frame. Um, one other thing that I didn't mention before is that the the Caddx Turtle was in recording in the uh, original video, and it is recording now. So I think that, that definitely just making that really simple change of not powering the Caddx from the video transmitter made all the difference. I think that the BEC on the video transmitter is not enough to power the Caddx Turtle, and um, it needs more current. That's probably why it wasn't recording before, as long on top of all the electrical noise. So yeah, they just made a mistake on using this particular video transmitter. It's not providing enough current for this camera. It probably is fine for the cameras, like regular cameras, but not the turtle. And it seems that the fly color, flight, uh, flight controller uh, does seem to have enough current to supply the turtle. So I'm powering it off the 5-volt uh, regulator off the flight controller instead, and everything seems to be working. I still think that if I want to get rid of more electrical noise, I probably would upgrade this um, capacitor here to a bigger one um, instead of 25 volt 330 microfarad maybe 25 volt uh, like 470 microfarad or something like that but I didn't really feel that uh, feel like changing that out it did seem like there's a little bit of noise but it wasn't enough uh, where it was going to bother me like it was originally I think it should be flyable with a little bit of noise and yeah that's pretty much it just got to put the props on and then we'll go and give it a fly and see how it flies